In this video, I'm going to show you how to SSH into another Windows machine from a Windows machine. And actually, this will work if you're on a Mac going to Windows or even a Linux going to Windows. So let's go ahead and get on into the tutorial here. Okay, so I'm on a Windows machine right now. Uh, what we're going to do is check to see if we have SSH installed. So I'm going to open up a command prompt and do where SSH. So because it comes back with the SSH executable, that means I do have it installed, but if that's not the case for you, in order to install it, simply open up your settings app, go to apps under optional features, click on that, and then add a feature up here, type in open SSH, and you'll see open SSH client here, click that, install it, and then it will show up down below, like here in the installed features list. So. How do we SSH into a remote server? Well, let me show you what my remote server looks like. So uh, I'm going to open up the remote desktop connection to this remote server at this IP address. This is another Windows machine running in a data center somewhere, I think in Germany, this one. Um, so we're going to connect to that and log in. And there we go. So this is our remote computer right here. And then in the background, this is our local computer. On the remote server, let's set up uh, SSH. Let's make sure an SSH server is running. So the quickest way to check that out is to open up PowerShell as an administrator. This is not the only way, but uh, just to check it out real quick, um, there is a command that you can run that looks like this. It's get Windows capability where object name is like open SSH. So, uh, if we execute that, it'll come back and say the client is installed, but the server is not present. We need the server to be able to remote into. So how can we do that? Similarly, we can go to the settings on the remote computer, open that up, go to apps, uh, optional features, and then I'm going to add a feature. This time, open SSH server. So we'll click that, install. That'll install, who knows, maybe a minute. We'll fast forward through that. Okay, and just a bit later, we see that we have OpenSSH server installed, so we can get out of here. And uh, right now it's installed, but it's not running, so let's go ahead and allow it to run. And we can do that in PowerShell again. Start service, SSHD, SSHD for daemon, hit enter, and that's gonna start it up. Now, every time you reboot your computer, it will not automatically bring up the SSH server. If you want that to happen automatically, then you can execute this command right here. Okay, so now we are ready to execute our SSH command to go from our local computer to our remote computer. And that is simply going to be SSH, the username, <coughs> excuse me, so the username of the remote user is administrator. That might be different for you at the IP address of this remote connection, which you can see is right here. So that's going to be 161.97.70.200. Hit enter. And it's going to ask for the password for that user. And I have that noted over here. So I'm going to copy that, paste it in, hit enter. Uh, let me try this. I'm going to right click, edit, paste, hit enter. And now we are logged into the remote server. Let me prove to you that I'm logged in via SSH to the remote computer. Okay, so let's uh, use the CD command, change directory to go to the desktop. Okay, and that's that that works because we were in the administrator directory. Um, so we can go directly to the desktop. Now let's do something like echo. Uh, let's say hello world. And we're going to put that into a file called mm, test.txt. And if we look over here, probably right here, you'll see that file pop up. Hit enter. And there's that test.txt file. If we open that up, it should say hello world. And it does. So again, this window is on our local computer. And we are logged into it via SSH to the remote computer which we're looking at through a graphical user interface right here. So that's really cool. Um, and, and basically that is the essence of SSH, but I want to take it a little bit further, a step further, and show you guys how to copy files between your remote computer and your local computer. 
So we can do that with the scp command. So let's make sure we have that installed, where scp. And I think at this point, most windows uh, with the with the open SSH installation, uh, most windows will come packaged with that. So we do have SCP installed. Let's do a basic copy. So if we want to copy from this computer remotely to our local computer, that's going to look something like this SCP. Now from OK, we're copying from the remote computer. So let's provide those credentials administrator at that same IP address. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> we are on the remote computer. Um, let's get out of here, actually, and go to our local computer. So we'll do SCP from the administrator's computer, A-D-M-I-N-I-S-T-R-A-T-O-R, -I 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 at that IP address, 161.97.70.200. And then the file that we want to copy is, we'll do colon, in C colon slash users slash administrator. We're just giving it a full path to that file desktop. And then we called it test.txt. Okay. And I think there's probably a way if we look at the properties of this, we're just giving it the full path to that property or to that file, which looks like this. And the name of it is test.txt. Okay. So that's what we're copying from. And then we want to copy it to our desktop so we can do um, to our desktop like that so sim similar as from before we should see a file pop up here called test.txt so we'll execute that uh, we need the password for the administrator let me copy that again right click on the bar up here edit paste hit enter and there you go now that same exact file, a copy of it, exists on our local computer, and that's what it looks like. Hello world. Now we can copy it. Uh, actually, yeah, let's open that back up. Let's change this up a little bit. Let's say like, comment, subscribe, something like that. Uh, we'll save this as um, hello, hello.txt on our desktop as well. So there's a new file. Oops, where'd it go? Did it come on my second screen? Oh, it's right there. <laughs> okay, so let's copy that file from our local computer to the remote computer. So it'll be similar, but uh, a little bit different. So we'll do scp from, okay, the first argument is from, uh, from our desktop slash hello. Let's see. Let's uh, let's navigate into our desktop first. CD desktop. Okay, so we'll do SCP from hello dot text to administrator at that remote IP address, which again is one six one dot nine seven dot seven zero dot two hundred, and then we can give it the full path to where we want that to end up. So colon c slash users slash administrator slash desktop and we can name it the same we could we could leave it right here or we can call it something else we can call it hello.txt or we can say uh, hello hello copy dot text so let's see if that works hit enter we'll ask for the administrator's password let me copy that right click edit paste hit enter and there we go. We see the copy of hello on a remote computer. Like, comment, subscribe. Guys, if you like this type of video, definitely do try to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you around.